students. Today, we will learn breeding of millet. You know, all breeding processes of agricultural crops is very enlarged. Because of limitation of our time today, we will consider only three parts of the breeding process of this crop. They are economical importance of millet. We will get acquaintance about economical importance of this crop in the nation light. And the second question will be origin and taxonomy of this crop. The third part, of course, will be breeding methods to breed new varieties of this crop. So, for the first question, we know this crop is very valuable within agricultural crops. For the first, its importance is producing of porridge cooked from growths of millet grain is unrevealed on its test and nutritious value for the health of living organisms, not only humane, but agricultural animals also. The second, its valuable features connected with the alcohol and starch are produced from millet more easily converted to the sugar than other crops like rice. The third, its valuable properties is forage for whole agricultural animals and its grain more important for the feeding such kinds of agricultural animals as swine and birds for poultry production. You can see here the grains in general will produce from this crop. And above mentioned its quality as the unrevealable for its taste and nutritious. Mm, I mean uh, culinary quality. You can see here different meals, meals will be uh, prepared from the grain of this uh, crop and they have uh, many, many micro elements that will um, substantially for humane health. You can see here the ingredients, the grain or raw material of this crop contains. You can see here uh, according to the daily uh, meal percentage which, in which um, connected with the calories of uh, uptaking energy by the organism and you can see rich uh, some ingredients useful for humane. They are vitamins and protein and um, carbohydrates and fat adze. They are very useful for um, keeping the health of living organisms. You can see here uh, its designation, this crop is designation for agricultural animals. The another valuable importance of this crop is um, resistance to the growing uh, condition, partly um, in terms of harsh and extreme temperature. Uh, in this point of view, our uh, region, Sardaria, is very uh, similar to this condition. And uh, plus of this, the soil is very um, high uh, salinity degree has. So this crop 
uh, due to, uh, to its uh, properties as silent res resistance and drought resistance and um, at the extreme temperatures, very good resilient to the condition of our difficult in agricultural point view of Sardaria region, very good alternative in comparison to other agricultural crops. You can see here its vegetation period, which made of 6 to 80. There are some other varieties of this crop which consists the vegetation period even 70 days. So our peasants can cultivate this crop twice in a year. And um, maybe this crop very good alternative after basic crops like wheat, barley, and other cereals. Because of it is low index of evaporation, water transpiration, uh, uh, which accounts for 200 and 250. This is very smallest index within agricultural crops, which enables this crops tolerance to drought. Often it can be occurred in that region. Its toxinema is very rich. Uh, you can see here two of the representatives of the species Optisum and Repenus, which have very um, distinguished properties which keep us uh, above surface lay of soil from uh, sweeping away under the exposure of uh, wind erosion and water erosion. So this crop, uh, in comparison at the crops, has very strong uh, fibrous root system that uh, will fasten the surface lay of fertile soil. This is the agronomical importance of this uh, species, which is cultivated in the extremely uh, harsh conditional, conditional uh, regions of any uh, country which grows this crop. This crop uh, spread it uh, around our neighboring republics and most of the varieties cultivated account as for about 50 cultivated domesticated species. They are spread in the Russian Federa Federation where uh, uh, exists some desert and steep vast areas like to our um, desert regions. Uh, and very good alternative, it would be to the condition of Karakalpak, where uh, soil exposed to the uh, wind and water and salt erosion. This is one of the farmer in Sardaria region. He commented very good information about the preference of this crop in his region, in his uh, fields. They will plant this crop since July 20th. This is very um, good time to get the second crop in a year. Uh, at this, he spends about 50, 60 kilograms seed metal per hectare and gets, gets at the late season of uh, year, um, 0.2 tons per hectare. This is very good profit 
for uh, farmers, local farmers. Its origin or native land is Eastern and Central Asia, from where this crop was domesticated or originated. Its chromosomal set uh, in the heritage uh, features has 36 chromosomes, set of chromosomes accounts for 36 and characterized as a ala tetraploid. You can see outlook of this crop in general planting in our region. You can see here the quantity of uh, species. This crop is very diverse in terms of uh, species, consisting of about 500 species. The most of them further importance and few of them were domesticated or bred for the humane food, getting humane food from the grains of this crop. Moreover, common millet has five, additionally five subspecies. And these subspecies are more uh, accustomed to the local conditions of growing. They will distinguish by two morphological characteristics as uh, grain color and gloom, spike gloom, the state of spike gloom. You can see in the slide presented below. This is the different colors, the grain of this crop has. They will diversify or vary uh, from red to white and brown at yellow golden even and on the shape may be enlarged and may be very thin, smaller ones as a prosa, producing frost, pros, from prosa. You can see here morphological diversities of this remarkable crop. You can see here uh, one of them, finger millet, the second prosa millet, which is in general, widely grown in our uh, regions and neighboring countries. And peril millet, more widely spread in African and Asian countries. Eight of the 50 above mentioned cultivating species further direction which are grown in the independent um, countries, former Soviet Union. The variety of Saratovska 6 and its grains, one of the very widely spread variety because of its valuable traits and properties like drought resistance, resistance to diseases and very resilient to harsh climatic conditions and very good quality of produced grain for human feeding and agricultural animals. You can see here the characteristics of that remarkable variety of Saratovsky 6 and it is origin and breeding methods and even authors and the 
morphological and quality characteristics you can get information about this data after this class freely from these slides. Except above mentioned valuable traits, this crop and varieties of this have very high superiority resistance to the dangerous uh, diseases locally spread it like smut. Uh, between this diseases, black smut is very dangerous for all cereal crops, but varieties of this crop. You can see here one of the trial plot where studying one of the varieties of this crop. And quality of the grains. Growth is produced from it are characterized by stability in spite of long time or difference of soil and also climatic conditions of cultivation. So this crop um, has possibility to keep its quality indexes unstable in any extreme conditions of cultivation. That's why this crop specially distinguished between the cereal crops. And in the Russian Federation, about mentioned variety Saratovskaya 6 has spread it more than 250,000 hectares with the more remarkable with the uh, productivity which makes of 1.7 to 3.2 tons per hectare. Plant breeding objectives on this crop is profitability. In Uzbekistan, our peasants could take about 200 kilograms per hectare, but there is possibility to increase this grain output up to four, even 4.5 tons per hectare. This is very good opportunity to the breeders in the nearest future. And here you can see other problems should be improved in nearest future. They are, one of them is high culinary quality. Here was shown the major indexes of productivity. They are connected with the uh, fruiting components and morphological outlooks of the crop. Breeding directions is to develop resistant to varieties, new varieties, to diseases and pests, like above mentioned smut races. And we can especially note about the initial accessions. Our breeders have at their disposal more than 10,000 accessions or initial materials introduced from abroad and from our neighboring countries. They are very good mm. in the point of view improving the new our varieties on this crop. You can see some of accessions may be taken from Kazakhstan, Ukraine, and Tian Shan uh, mountains also. 
plant breeding methods, the most efficient methods for this crop are individual selection, uh, induced mutation, and in some case, if breeder um, prefer deliberated crossings. And here you can see some achievements gained from the, these three methods of breeding. Here we, you can read some achievements taken in the result of individual selection. And here you can see what mutation, mutation, mutagenesis can be exposed or affected to the seed material or um, growing point of this material to get variation of the uh, traits and properties which produces or images background for the selection for the breeders to select desirable plants with high level of needed traits and properties. You can see here physical mutagenesis and chemical mutagenesis. Any breeder can choose one of them and having its initial materials or seeds of initial materials exposed to the effect of this mutagenesis and get diversified initial materials for the um, selecting or for the bread new of varieties they would see in the result of their research works. You can see here some of varieties resistant to that very dangerous disease and some insects. Birds flying around us also one of the dangerous effect in the point of pinnacle of this crop. So breeders do all their efforts to get some of the pinnacles which not subjected to the effect or to the attack of these natural birds, which results in decreasing the getting crop after harvest. So that's all about our brief lecture on the breeding of millet. Thank you a lot for your attention. If you did not understand something about mentioned information, you can send or you can write me down in the comments. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. Thanks again.